Sparky, as every, all his friends called him, was a very decent gentleman. He's the only one that I've ever met that I could honestly call, you know, what they, I read in novels and in books and in the newspaper, uh, a real, genuine Christian gentleman. Because he was very devoutly Christian. I think he knew the Bible by heart, I just almost swear to it. Yeah, he did. And he taught Bible classes. Now, he didn't belong to any denomination. In fact, he didn't like the the separate, the spreading, uh, uh, you know, Protestant Christianity into denomination. No, he was just a Christian, and um, and he went by the written word, and the Bible was, I guess, was his uh, was his dictionary even. So he was very gentle, a very gentle man. He he was not violent at all. You know how rambunctious I am, jumping up and down. He never would do that. He looked at me with his little beady blue eyes, and I could just appraise me and wonder what's the matter with him, jumping around and, you know, acting up, getting angry, bawling people out I shouldn't. He wouldn't do things like that at all. He was just the opposite. If you see my carrying his on, you can jolly well be sure that Schultz was the opposite. But we were very good friends, and um, and we worked very closely for about 40 years, over 40 years. He was easy to know, but difficult to live with, because, you know, he was such a nice guy, and I'm not used to dealing with nice guys or to being a nice guy, you know? And so I used to tell him, I said, Sparky, I offered to take him to a bar, get him drunk. I, I want, once time I, he wanted, well, what do you do in a bar? I'll show you. Took to a bar. I bought him a daiquiri. You know what a daiquiri is? Sure, because you're a girl. See, those are the kind of drinks that girls love, daiquiri. So I had a daiquiri for him. And he looked at it. That's a, that, taste it. You'd like it. And he touched it to his lips. Just touch it. Set it down. Just touch his lips with it. Mmm, that's strong, isn't it? No, Sparky, you didn't even, you just touched it to your lips. Drink some. He wouldn't. I said, that's what we do in a bar. We take a drink. And we talk to people. We, we, you know, we socialize in a bar. I explained to him that in, in, in London, that's where people take their, their friends to socialize. They go to their local pub. They don't have room in their houses. He says, Sparky, very few people have a house as big as yours. Or, or in a city like yours, she had a, a like a 26 or like around 30 acre or 40 acre, a 30 acre uh, house up in Sevastopol in red, like a 30 acre Redwood Park. It was a beautiful place. I said, Sparky, very few people can socialize in a place like yours. So they go to a bar. <laughs> he wouldn't believe me.